So this is our changing station. Um, we have a diaper pail right here to the right, and there's a little rack above it. Um, I hang either used towels, or right now I have a zippered wet bag. It's a hanging wet bag, and it has a zipper, and I can actually put dirty diapers in there. I have a few in there, and zip it up. And um, So I either use that or the pail. I used the pail. I was doing wash this morning, so I was using my wet bag. Um, let's uh, just look at what supplies we have here. Um, in the very bottom basket, I have prefolds and some flats. I have about 14 prefolds and I want to say half a dozen Gerber flats. They're not the Gerber flats aren't worth a whole lot, but I do use them sometimes as inserts in a um, a diaper that needs a, a thinner insert. And you don't need as as much as I have here. I, I'm almost overstocked with those, but they are nice to have. I, I never make it through all of them. I could probably do with about half of what I have, just for me at least. Um, these are my towels and some blankets. And then on the second shelf here, I have uh, baskets of diapers. Um, so I'll start right here. Um, we just got these diapers. These are our Bum Genius 4.0. And we have two in Velcro and one in Snap. And we have the colors Sassy, Twilight, and Grasshopper. And I got these mainly. They're pocket diapers. I got them for Joe so that he has diapers that are easy or if she goes to a babysitter, we have a diaper that, that's like uh, anyone could put on. It's so easy. Uh, this was a free diaper that came with um, my order. It's a kawaii. And um, I'm actually pretty impressed with this diaper. Um, it's like you can actually only buy it for just $10. And it looks like it'll be pretty good. I personally would have preferred just a Velcro because um, Joe, my po these are all pocket diapers. And Joe just um, likes Velcro better. And the pocket diapers are mainly his thing. So, I also have, these are made by the same people that make those. These are called flip diapers. They're pretty much the same. Um, only instead of being a pocket diaper. Hi, Avia. <laughs> She's right here. She likes to take all of my diapers out. Um, you, it's just a cover, but what I like to do is I just tri-fold a pre-fold diaper. It's just folded in thirds. And then I just use that as my insert, or you can actually, they have inserts that come with them, and it's a stay dry insert. So like this is topped with a soft suede, and then the back is microfiber, so it's a very thin diaper, um, and it fits very trimly under her clothes. And the good part about this is that, um, like, if this is dirty... I can put this in my diaper pail, but I can still use the cover again, and I really like that. So we actually have one more flip diaper, and it's in Velcro, but it's um, she's actually wearing it right now. I love my flips, and I love them because of the way they fit, and there she is taking my diapers out, <laughs> and also just because of um, the quality. They're just a great quality diaper, and I, I got them on a really good deal. So let's see what else I have here. Uh, here are my itty bitties, which I'd heard a lot about and I really wanted to try. I got this one for free. Um, it's an itty bitty delish. And um, this is, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's like a soft velour. It's just a very soft diaper. It's very trim through the crotch. And this is a fitted diaper, so it's a size large. And it fits her perfect. Um, here's the insert. This is a suede. But this back oh. here is bamboo. This is a bamboo soaker here. And uh, these snaps are color coded. So this is called a snap in one because they actually snap out. And so like this will snap out here at the front. And then it comes unfolded so that uh, when it goes to dry like it's not a big thick thing and it doesn't take forever to dry. So I really really like everything about this diaper. I like the fit. I like the quality, and um, it's just so absorbent. I like that it snaps in and out. Um, I can actually have an extra snap-in set that if, if um, this got wet, I could snap in another one and use it again. So I love that diaper. <laughs> 
I have three of the itty bitty tutus, which are their one size diapering option. I have this and this. And I like it okay. It doesn't fit as well as the itty bitty delish, but it is good. The I love the soakers again, like the inside part is really, really good. <clears throat> I don't actually have all of my soakers in this one. It comes with so many options and you can really customize the absorbency for the amount of, um, like, because every child is different. You know, some children are heavy wetters and some aren't. And so, um, this you uh, is an, a long one and you can fold it. Uh, this is for, like, if it was small, you would fold it right there and then it just goes medium, large, or extra large. The red ones are for an extra booster, and then you can even put this one in here. Um, so there's just so many different options. It's a little overwhelming at first, but it's not that hard. Um, and once I learned how to actually put the diaper on, they do fitter. Um, I just don't like them, them quite as well as the Delish. So I have three of those that I'm using. I have two more, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep all five of the tutus because um, I have enough diapers and I might just resale them because they're brand new and I could get a really good price for them. So let's see what else back here. These are all my odds and ends diapers. I have two large G diapers and they have the G inserts in them and um, I have an extra little plastic thing to put in in case that gets dirty. I have two soft buns. I have both the Echo and the Omni and um, both Joe and I agree those are probably like our favorite diapers um, as far as like it's one size but the way it sizes is just ingenious. I did a video on it so you could see. Uh, we just like everything about that diaper. And I have two Grovias. I only have one right here. Um, and we really like those. And I have one Wee Hugger cover. And we use pre-folds in those. And just to be honest, I only use this diaper if I've run out of all other options. It's really cute. It's just it's not us. So, those are our diapers. Um, here are the two itty bitties that I'm thinking about possibly reselling or keeping. I'm not sure yet. It's a brown and a yellow. Okay, back to our changing station. Um, this is a 31 bag that my sister-in-law Joanna got me. And on one side, and Avi is really into this stage of taking everything apart. So like her room does not stay together. She takes all those books out, she takes all the toys out, and then she comes and she pulls all the diapers out too. <laughs> so, but this has like my diaper creams. I have Grandma L's, which I like. And then I have CJ's Butter, which I really like. Um, and they're both natural. I also have some Bordeaux's, uh, or however you say that, butt paste too. Here's lotions and comb. And in here, I have a wipes container. And I have our flushable liners, which she got, and she was like unrolling this whole row. But like, I don't know if I can get a liner out here. She really did a number. It just lays in the diaper, and like if she poops, I can just put that in the toilet. And then I have some disposable inserts. These go in any of the diapers, um, like if I want a disposable option. Um, and then these are our cloth wipes. Um, and I have them already pre-moistened. And I fold them in a certain way to where, like, they come out like regular wipes would. So those are pre-moistened. Um, that's our little change in back there. And then I also have some disposables. Normally I don't buy this brand because she reacts to it. I buy the natural ones, but we just happened to be in a bind one day. And they didn't have any of the natural ones in her size, so we ended up with those. <laughs> So, and then we have the top here, and that's where she gets changed. Not really. We always use the floor. These are my microfiber inserts. Um, 
the bigger ones. These are like for newborn inserts, microfiber. This is my one hemp insert, which I love. It's a hemparoo, and I use this for her at nights because it's um, very trim, and yet um, we have to actually, like if we put a nighttime diaper on her, we have to put three inserts in her diaper. So this being so much trimmer makes it to where she doesn't just end up with a totally pillow butt. Um, these are my G diaper inserts. These are my soft bum inserts. And these are my itty bitty inserts. Um, here are changing pads. Um, cosmetic stuff. These are my fleece liners. Like if I do put diaper cream on her, just to protect my diaper, I put this in there. There's my Bredores. A disposable for when she was just a little baby. And this is my travel white case. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do have two uh, Kiss of Love. Like, if you open my diaper pail here, this is a Kiss of Love washable liner. And um, it has, oh boy, it's really dark down there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let me pull it out. It has a little um, tab here that you can put, like, essential oil on or something like that to keep it smelling nice. So, that's that. And I think that's just about it. There she is, taking everything out. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll try to get that Day in the Life video done soon. But until then, I hope you all are great. Thanks. Bye.